Week 10 of the NFL season and another week of Let Carm Cook. Three and two on last week's video. Three one in one in the Circa uh, Millions. And we got five plays for you this week. You can see my Circa picks. They are right there up on the screen for you guys. Those are the five submitted, including the Thursday night game. Guys, do us a favor before I get to these five games. Hit that subscribe button. Join the ever-growing community here at Wager Talk. Over 183,000 subscribers and growing each and every day. Hit the like button if you like this content and drop a comment in the comment section below. Let me know who your five best bets are this weekend in the NFL. Let's compare notes and see how that turns out. All right, you're going to get a lot of dogs in this one. Hopefully they are barking dogs. We're going to kick it off with the... Pittsburgh Steelers, this is by far the toughest defense that Jane Daniels and the Commanders have faced all season long. You've got the Pittsburgh Steelers coming off a bye week, four straight covers against the spread for this Pittsburgh team off bye weeks. And you get a Washington team that could be looking ahead. They've got the Eagles next week in Philadelphia. Classic look ahead spot. And that's something that is going to be repeated throughout this episode of Let Carm Cook. Denver plus eight and a half. Now, do I think Denver is going to go and win this game? No, I don't. But I'm going to take the plus eight and a half here. The Chiefs have only won two games this season by more than seven points. They're absolutely perfect on the season, but they come off. It's a short week off an OT game. And they've got a trip to Buffalo lined up next weekend. And you know the Bills are waiting for them off of that 27-24, uh, I believe it was, playoff loss last season. So uh, it could be a classic look-ahead spot here for the Chiefs as well, too. Give me the 8.5 points with Denver. Houston plus 3.5. Listen, we, we caught Houston in a look-ahead spot last week. We cashed with the Jets. And now we're flipping the script here. We're taking uh, a perfect 4-0 at home Houston team. Uh, they're getting three and a half points here against Detroit. And yes, I get it. Detroit is, and I mentioned it last week, looking like the best team in the league. But I'm going to take the plus three and a half points here with Houston to maintain that uh, perfect home record. And if they lose, they'll lose by a field goal. All right, Miami plus one and a half. Yes, this is the Monday night game. Miami's cooked. They are cooked. They are two and six after losing to the Bills. But that doesn't mean they can't still win games. They are playing the Rams, who are the benefactors of Geno Smith and his meltdown last weekend. Three INTs, one returned for a pick six. I expect two and the boys to be a little bit better. And I'm going to take the plus one and a half here because I think they win this game outright. So give me Miami plus one and a half. And then the filling game. Filling in for that Thursday game that I've got on my circuit card. I am taking Indy, another dog. And another look-ahead spot, the Bills. Bad spot for them, I think. Uh, this team is playing extremely well, but they're going to Indy. And um, they're, they've got KC up next at home next week. And you know they want uh, a little bit of revenge for that playoff loss at home. Uh, this is a field goal game. So I'm taking the plus four here with the Colts. Four, five dogs, Pitt plus two and a half, Denver plus eight and a half, Houston plus three and a half, Miami plus one and a half, and Indy plus four. And it wouldn't surprise me if at the very least Miami come game time is a small favorite in that one, but we're getting them all at uh, dog prices right now. Guys, let me know what you think. Drop a comment in the comment section below. Hit that subscribe button. Join the ever-growing community here at wager talk with a lot of shows with actionable info and a lot of free play videos as well too for myself and the wager talk family this is let carm cook let's have a winning weekend